It doesn't matter if you are a first year student in medical school or a cardiologist at Harvard. You hate murmurs. I hate them too. But after this video, even Alzheimer's disease won't take away your memory hooks. I'm Dr. Daniel and I'm going to make heard murmurs ridiculously simple for you. So these are the murmurs you must know. Aortic stenosis, aortic insufficiency, mitral stenosis, and mitral insufficiency. We can abbreviate them as AS, AI, MS, MI. And now, the cool part you've been waiting for. From now onwards, we'll call these murmurs as S, AI as AID, MS as MSD, and MI as MISS. First is aortic stenosis or S, AS for aortic stenosis, and the S means systole. The murmur is found in elderly above 70 years of age. They're usually sad i.e. syncope, angina, and dyspnea are the presenting symptoms. If a person has congenital heart defect of bicuspid aortic valve, it can present as early as 50 years. The murmur itself looks like a diamond during systolic phase. Now the aid. Aortic insufficiency and D stands for distally. It's an early diastolic murmur. You'll remember it's an early cause aid helps a poor family when aid is given early. The murmur of aid is an early diastolic murmur. Also, aid itself is a pretty cool thing. So look for clues in the history. Weird clues like wide pulse pressure of 160 by 60, head bob bobbing and pulsations in the nail bed. Now, mitral insufficiency, the miss. Here's some background knowledge. This is right atrium, right ventricle, and left atrium and left ventricle. The blood comes from left atrium and goes to left ventricle and should go out of aorta during systole. But there is insufficient C and blood goes back to the left atrium. That's the problem here in the mitral insufficiency. Miss. Okay? So let's read the text. It's a holosystolic murmur and it's heard best at apex, the mitral area, and if at all it has to radiate, it goes to the axilla. The most common cause of mitral insufficiency is ischemic heart disease. You can remember it as MI for mitral insufficiency and MI for myocardial infarctions, because that's the most common cause of mitral insufficiency. After miss comes a tis. Tis, tricuspid insufficiency, and S is the systolic murmur. This is your normal heart. And in tricuspid insufficiency, you have a problem at the tricuspid valve. Blood comes from right atrium to right ventricle. And instead of going to lungs, some of the blood goes back to the right atrium because there's insufficiency. Look for the history of IV drug abuser. Most common cause is Staph aureus, and the murmur is best heard at the sternal border. MSD, mitral stenosis. If you're not from Pakistan or India, you deserve a background story of MSD. And this guy is the MSD, all right? Mahindra Singh Dhoni, MSD, mitral stenosis and diastolic murmurs. murmurs. Another thing about MSD is he comes to bat down the order. That is quite late in the innings. Two batsmen open the innings and Dhoni comes after all these players. The point here is MSD mitral stenosis is a delayed rumbling late diastolic murmur with an opening snap. You can remember the fact of opening snap by remembering Dhoni is an athlete. So how does he know he, how he's performing? By taking snaps. Now the clues in history. Look for an immigrant. India, uh, Dhoni's an Indian, all right? So he's an immigrant. There's a lot of cases of rheumatic fever in India. It's quite prevalent over there. 
so look for rheumatic fever and pregnancy. India has the largest population in the world, so I guess a lot of guys or females are pregnant over there, so these will be the clues for mitral stenosis. Now for completion's sake, this is Dhoni, MSD. He comes late in the innings, so it's a delayed murmur. And the clues, uh, immigrant, rheumatic fever, and pregnancy. The murmur of PDA, patent ductus arteriosus, is as given in first aid, so discuss it. So where I live is Peshawar, or Pakistan, it's a city in Pakistan, and the developing authority here is called PDA. Here is the logo of PDA, uh, Peshawar Development Authority. And I remember patent ductus arteriosus is by Peshawar Development Authority. The PDA, they've got huge machines. So the murmur of PDA is continuous machinery murmur. And they've, um, they've got huge machines, so they're always building roads. Now the point here I want to emphasize is some of the road is developed and some of the road isn't. So there will be differential cyanosis in the history. That is, some of the body is being perfused and some of the body isn't. Red and blue babies. So the text says it's a patent ductus arteriosus, i.e. PDA. Uh, they've got huge machines, so the murmur of PDA is a continuous machinery murmur, and there will be differential cyanosis in the history. Thank you.